Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Master of Garden video with me, Major Blood Fox, and just barely, Bashful Santa Iris released, and so we're gonna go ahead and check out her kit and see what she has to offer all of us. And as always, let's start with the splash art here. Looks really nice and white. I I do love uh, redheads. Very nice very Christmassy. She's outdoors, a bit chilly. What you doing, Iris? Alright. So, position 287. So, she's pretty close to the front. She's a red attacker. Group, human, Midgar. No special stats to note here. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the kit. Hidden Technique. Santa's Secret Holy Slash. Inflicts 2000% damage on all enemies within 100 centimeters of single enemy with highest attack. 2000% damage. That's pretty decent. So on Awakening, 25%... 2500% damage on all enemies within 100 centimeters of single enemy with highest attack. Not bad. Okay, skill 1. Santa Color Lightning. Cancels all shield effects on single enemy. Further inflicts 300% damage. Oh, interesting. So she... she strips shielding. And you get 400% on Awakening for your damage. That is pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's check out skill two, uh, skill 2. Santa's Snow Wave. Lowers defense on all enemies within 100 centimeters of single enemy with highest attack by 10% for 10 seconds. Further inflicts 100% damage. And on Awakening, you get 15% and 150% for your damage. Interesting. She has an interesting kit. Alright, Special Ability, Bashful Santa. Raises damage inflicted of all red elemental allies by 25%. If partied with four or more red elemental allies, self-included, and the buff is permanent. So 25%, I mean that's a pretty decent boost. And on Awakening, raises own damage inflicted by 20% permanent. So actually pretty good. Alright, let's check out the combo effect. Inflicts 75% to 1500% damage according to combo bonus. So, let's see. What are my thoughts on this unit? So, she's not like crazy strong, but I think that she is better than her counterpart, uh, Holiday Frolic Beatrix. And I think that she is actually pretty decent. Like, if you use her in a red elemental comp, she is a pretty good asset. Especially if you're looking to strip an opponent and boost your overall team's damage. I think she can be a really good asset. So, if you have the Phantasm Gems to just spend, then I would say probably pick her up if you can. But she isn't like a must pull. I only recommend pulling her if you have the gems to spend. But otherwise, maybe just save up for a Shadow Festival unit. There should be one coming soon. But that's kind of how I feel about this unit. Uh, I might try and pull for her. But we'll see. But hopefully this helped out you new players and just anyone in general. Thanks so much for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe for more Master Garden content. And just gaming content in general. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Toodaloo!